Pieter de Villiers. Salvin uh, Adenal. Color Channel. Welcome. Yeah, thanks, Jay. Okay. Um, I would like to go through some of the things I've read up your Wikipedia. Um, yeah, if we can just start off. You are a legend to millions of South Africans, but uh, uh, a thorn in the flesh of a few. Former head scout for South African rugby, head scout of the, the elephants at the moment. You're also a motivational speaker, and uh, now obviously the good party mayoral candidate in Drakenstein Paul. What do you bring to the table for the good party and the people of Paul? Well, you exactly just said what I bring to the power to the table. Um, the experience, the life experience of of dealing with with, with deep rooted problems, um, dealing of new challenges, and my honesty. Um, where I I came through nineteen ninety seven, nineteen seventy six, came through the. Hardship of apartheid as a matric student then, and had to fight the imbalances of, 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 of the past, which I think is now spilling over, and before it get to that state again in the future, that we just stop it now and try, <clears throat> try and make it work, work for us, you know? Okay. That's the first thing. The second thing is that we want to see if how we can use the God-given talent of 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 everybody you know um if you look at the hope that's been stolen if you look at the self-respect that people has, has 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 lost um they don't believe in themselves anymore um those are the things that make us weak because even those guys the guys that uh is not high up in in, in ranking by people's measures they do also have ideas they also have um a contribution to make and the one thing to 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 get to that point is you must communicate with them and the biggest part of communication is listening and i don't think that our politicians uh, are listening to us uh, listening too much to the people's needs um they try to make laws to suit themselves more most of, more, most of the time and they forgot how to ask them listen here what do you see as a solution for our problems all right um, I think uh, as a coach, you are highly underrated within the rugby fraternity. Uh, I believe um, even underpaid, if I go through all the the, the articles that I read up. Um, you beat the British and Irish, you beat the New Zealand five times, you won the tri -Nations. Um, You know, you won 30 out of 48 games, it's a phenomenal career. Um, but it seems it, it also came with a, a lot of bitter coffee. Um, in terms of having to work abroad, um, having to defend your, your character um, in many, many articles that I read up. Do you think as a leader um, in the rugby or the sports fraternity, and obviously now you're transitioning to, you know, to politics, uh, are leaders born or made, according to Peter de Villiers? Well, well leader, leaders to me is only the people who, who the other people want to follow. You know, okay. and and sometimes you as a leader, if you if you become a threat to a lot of aspirations in in, 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 in society, then they will go the length and the breadth of 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 whatever to stop you, um, to discredit you, to break you down. You know, mm -hmm. and the one thing that the society has has lost is is honesty. People who honestly Will stand up even if they stand alone, and even even if they have to fight alone, they, they, you don't see any fear in their makeup, and that becomes a threat to other people because people are not jealous on the fact that you that you are strong. They're not jealous on the on the fact that you can stand alone and you can fight hard. They're jealous on their own inabilities. You know, they badly want to be like you, and because they can't and they are in control of of an organization. They rather get rid of you so that other people can't see how how weak uh, uh, or bad they are. So yeah, I, I'm 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 I've got a very strong character, and I've got very strong beliefs, and um, I'm taking that over to to the new venture. 
Um, it's just a venture that I thought would have been being solved and, 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 and equal by now because in, like I said, 76 and then 84 again and then came 94. And then we all thought, oh yeah, now it's brilliant. And then we sat back and we took different routes. If I only had, hadn't given up my, my, my fights then, it okay. would have been much, much easier now. But I am the, the main reason why we are still struggling. It's because I gave up the fight that I believed in good uh, liberators, you know. Do you regret giving up? Did you get tired? Yeah, I regret that I, I, regret that I didn't, um, um, uh, well, vigilant enough um, mm -hmm. to, 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 to keep on fighting that same, that same line. But you know what? We, we, we trusted the people that, we, that, they, that were in that um, uh, position because we fought for that. And um, yeah, I think they, let, they did let most of us down in life. But the bad thing is they have killed the next generation of leaders that were in yeah. our society. You were, you were running for male candidate Rakenstein, um, consists of uh, probably 60 plus percent uh, uh, predominantly brown people, colored people. Um, I read a book. Um, I'm not sure if you read the, the book uh, Stellenbos Mafia by Peter de Toy. Uh, that goes into detail on uh, the Afrikaner and uh, how they, uh, you know, rose to the occasion um, in industry, captains of industry. Um, there's a lot of detail about rugby and, and how it was born or, you know, grew to the point where it is today. Um, you were obviously now the first um, rugby coach of colour. Do you see yourself as a coloured South African or as a black South African? When we, when we, during the apartheid years, when we, when we were actually not regarded as human beings, um, we all stood together as non-whites. We all wanted to, we all wanted to, 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 to be regarded as human beings and not people of color. Okay. Now that this new government, they definitely draw a line um between ethnic black and being a colored so so you can either close your eyes for it and and then walk blindly into into supporting something that does not exist or you can realistically say to yourself i am who i am i am what i am yeah. but what i do know is that the foundation nation of this of this of this country were colored and I know that that we have to stand up, and I know that that people don't want us to 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 be to be white, and other people don't want us now to be black. Yes. So what do we want? And that is very very important for us. Okay. Do we have enough? Do we have enough uh, clout? Do we have really enough substance within ourselves to say to ourselves, listen here, if I can't stand with somebody. Let me then stand alone, but yes. don't compromise for what and who I am mm. and what my beliefs are and what I'm destined for. Yeah. So at this stage, whatever I learned to stand alone in rugby, to fight alone there, mm. um, whatever I learned in that environment, I hope, I hope now that we can go bring that to the to the to the community, go to the the people of of of, of Drakenstein. See how you can bridge the, the, the gap between, between uh, poor and rich. And when we talk about poor and rich, we're not talking about money only. We're yeah. talking about all those other senses that we do have, um, which has been robbed from us and stole from us. And see how we can together bring hope again um, yes. where there is no hope. Yeah, and dignity and jobs and all the other things that people need to survive. Um, uh, 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 you know, jobs is, jobs is not something. Jobs is not something that's so high and mighty. You know, mm -hmm. we as people, as as as, as made jobs the ultimate. The one thing about the job is how good can you do it so that you can be um, reward for it. And 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 if we can use people who do have the resources, and if we can go back to our to our generation, the next generation, not the now generation, because the now generation is lost forever. If we can go back to the next generation and see how we can instill some skills so that they can be competitive in a world out there yeah. where if you stand up for yourself, people start 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 uh, respecting you. 
hundred percent. And 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 to your point, uh, even if you have to stand alone, we we do need uh, individuals that can rise to the occasion, that can stand up uh, as a pillar of strength and as an example for for the youngsters coming up. I read up. Um, I I met with. Um, with uh, Glenn Slayman a, a while ago, he wrote this book, uh, Blind Man's Race, and he's basically yeah. fighting the, I don't know if you heard about him, he was uh, quite extensively on TV, fighting against the Z83 form, and then obviously scrapping the, the, the colored term with a C, colored with a C. But irrespective, uh, I hope that that message will, you know, will be perpetuated so that we can get this, this labels uh, removed. Um, especially the colored label that confuse a lot of, uh, uh, you know, uh, uh, people out here in the communities. Um, because for me, we were basically robbed from our identity, you know. Uh, Chester Williams, um, he believed in the quota rugby uh, system. And uh, because he felt that, that, that people would get more opportunity in that, um, in that sense. Uh, you strongly opposed it. Um, uh, because uh, you know you basically you didn't agree with that, um, and obviously if, if we talk about Oregon Askins, what he said uh, that you were basically appointed as a PEE coach. Um, how do you feel about that, and, and and do you agree? Because if we look at Bafana, Bafana is an example which is mostly black players, and uh, and look at their results. Um, can we read into that? Yeah, I don't know. You, 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 how do you win the Obex? You only win the Obex by respecting them. Yes. Um, not being in awe of them. Just respect them because they can play for 80 minutes. They, they are doing actually in the game exactly what you, as they want to do. So you need to respect them and then you're on level footing already up there with your enemies in your head, you know. And, and that is the same thing with people. Um, the one thing that we fought um, hard up till 1994 is, um, is for equal rights, you know, for everybody to have a say, everybody to stand, to, do, to, 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 to speak out and to, and, to, and to live out, you know. Now, yeah. when a guy like O'Regan Hoskins comes and he sees a thing like that, far from being right or wrong, you need to respect the fact that somebody's standing up for something, okay. even if it's, if it's something doesn't exist, but he's prepared to stand up for something. Oh. So if, if you sell your soul, you know, for a small little uh, price, um, you will also say something. And if you look at Facebook today, all those people who, who you know, who's not strong enough and faceless, are the people who actually are very, very, very vigilant in, 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 in vocal in, 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 in their opinion. Yes. But as soon as you, 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 you face them, you could see that, wow, he's hiding behind a weakness that, 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 that he doesn't even know exists. Yeah. And that weakness is that he badly uh, wants to be like you, you know. Right. And that is the only reason why he says things. So, mm -hmm. so a lot of people will protect something that doesn't exist. Yeah. I, 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 I describe most of our rugby um, uh, and sport administrators. Um, uh, the sport has become an identity document document for them, you know? Yeah. Without that document, they're nothing, you yeah. know? So if you take away rugby or sports from them, nobody will even know who they are. Nobody will greet them. Nobody. Yeah. So the one thing that, that makes them feel good about themselves, they will protect with their lives, even if they have to lie. And, and, and that is not the reason why God has made us, you know. He made us to stand strong, to stand tall, to be very, very, to be the image of something that, that is you, the character that is you. And if you can't do that, I don't care where you are, when you are, and what is your position. You're yeah. a failure. Yes. You, um, you are obviously, um, you know, as a man, caught up in a lot of issues um you uh you you, you didn't make the kings um because you they said you weren't qualified but then it ended up where you confirmed your level three coaching certificate um you actually ended up in zimbabwe as a as a coach and and there was an article where you guys obviously had to sleep outside on the streets of uh, tunisia and uh, i read there that you bought the guys uh, sandwiches and and, and and coffee and so forth that was obviously a humiliating experience. Um, 
How do you feel about that? Being isolated? Maybe not for me. Maybe you know, I think not not for me, you know. Okay. Because who am I? What what is what what do I deserve? Yeah. I think it's more humiliating for somebody who treat other people as bad as what they treated us. Mm. I think it just it should be a humiliation for them. Yeah. And if not then are they worthy to be called human beings, you know? Yeah. Then then they must if, if that is what that nation is all about then, then surely there is no place for them in this world. Yeah. Um, and this is what 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 life what life learns me. Do yeah. I rather going to go down to substandard yeah. and sleep nicely in a dirty place, yeah. or do I rise and stay at my standards and rather go sit on a pavement for the rest of my day? Yeah. So. So yeah, if people people can read in whatever they want to do, I didn't do that for publicity. There's enough publicity. I did it because I am not gonna allow people to treat me the way they want to treat me. I didn't allow people to treat me the way I deserve to be treated as yes. a human being and nothing else. Yeah. Talking about your 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 qualifications and your credentials, uh, when uh, Auntie Patricia De Lille introduced you, um, uh, she said. Uh, she was quite sarcastic. She said, um, "You have, they have no need to lie to tell lies about the qualifications." And obviously, referring to the Democratic Alliance. <laughs> you, uh, why did you go with? Why did you go with a good party and not? Um, because there's a lot of other parties coming up now. Smaller parties like uh, Gaita McKenzie's Patriotic Alliance. You've got ICOSA that that is quite uh, big in Nepal. Uh, you've got. Um, uh, uh, yeah, semi class, and you, you you probably know semi class as well. He left uh, to the PA, and then you got the the CCC Fadil Adams. Why did you specifically go and join Patrice Delol? Three years ago, when when she established this party, um, created this thing, she called me and we had a meeting, and okay. I and I and I said to her, so I'm, I'm not here with her today only. It's not a flash in the pan. It's something that I well thought over okay. for years now I've been with them yeah. and 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 the principles that she stands for the reasons why she left the DA the reason why she walked away and, and most of the other guys is exactly the reasons why we want to be part of something that actually define our character you know oh. and good is not not the name good uh, the good is is is, is 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 something that that we as people believe in. We should be. Um, we want to do justice to the name good. Yeah. Good shouldn't never be 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 regarded and and appointed to as as that was bad and that was bad. Yeah. By that we're not saying we're perfect. Yeah. By that we only say, lend us your vote. Give us a chance to go show to the people what good is really and good can't be get bad. And and the reason why we stand for that is because our character is is, is something that we do have. Our word is, is the only thing that's our bond. And our honesty is what we build our hope on. What do you say to people that's about skepticism? Uh, if you look at Andy Pat's uh, history, uh, all the political parties that she's been a part of, um, now she's obviously the, the one of the um, ministers within the the ruling party's government. Uh, 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 one of Sir Ramaphosa's ministers, and uh, people feel uh, if you read through the comments on social media, and I do that quite often um, to get some perspective. People feel that um, she's going to sell the, the votes uh, back to the ANC, and and so all these smaller parties. Do you think that um, that all the ministers from other parties, all the ministers, they are white ministers and they belong to the far right uh, parties, was on 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 Cyril Ramaphosa's um, uh, 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 list, and they doing a job for everybody? Do you think that everybody who has the abilities, who has really stood out and show that they can make a difference that somebody like Ramaphosa, I think, who's a level-headed person, could see, I can use this person for the best of South Africa in this part. Do you really think that all who says yes is a shallot? I, 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 I think the people, people are now clutching the straws, you know.
know. Mm. Um, the reality of this party is the fact that this party is a threat for a lot of people because this party has integrity. This party doesn't fight people. This party will never tell you about the weaknesses of the, of the DA or the weaknesses of the ANC. This party will tell you about the strength of what we can bring to change the lives of people for delivery, oh. to make them feel good. This is what, is, what the Patricia Garrel is about. This is what I am about and this is what the party is all about and that okay. is why I'm there. Why do you think people like Sammy Klaassen jumps up last minute? What Sammy Klaassen does and what you do, I don't have a problem with. Okay. I can't control you. I can't control even my wife at times. Yeah. But I don't lie to. I can only control me and I can only control what's in my power and what's in my domain. And that is why I will, I can strongly stand on what I believe because hundred years from now, you will still look back and you'll still say, wow, he might not be the best rugby coach, but whoa, he was honest eh? and he yeah. brought so much help for me and my child yeah. and my family and yeah. everybody. And that is what we stand on. Yeah. I read somewhere that you were born again, Christian. Definitely, you yeah. know, um, we all have our own beliefs. And yeah. that has nothing to do with being a Muslim or being a, a, a atheist or being whatever. That's okay. nothing to do. The one thing yeah. I can tell you, I'm a born-again Christian because I believe in Christianity and what Jesus Christ has does, done for me. And it mm. doesn't mean I don't respect anybody else. It's just when you ask me, I have an yeah. identity. Yes. Do you, think, do you think, in your opinion as a Christian, do you think God will forgive the ANC and Sarah Ramaphosa for closing the church and uh, yet allowing the taxis to operate at full capacity? Do you think God will forgive the Democratic Alliance for the expense of water and electricity, inflated rates and taxes that drives increased property values that uh, to the point where only the rich can afford it? If you can define forgiveness today to the, to the core to the bone of what forgiveness is all about, then I might be able to answer this question for you much better. Okay. But for me, mm. God is a forgiving God. He has already forgiven. It doesn't mm. mean, it doesn't mean that all the things that you have done, let, let me explain it to you simple that you can understand it mm. uh, 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 today. If you get a girl pregnant today, yeah. <laughs> and you go ask her father or mother or the whatever for forgiveness. Yeah. They will forgive you, but it doesn't mean the girl because you're forgiven. It doesn't mean the girl doesn't have to work for nine months, nine months with yeah. a problem. Yeah, now, we we've been working for twenty seven years. Even yeah. if there's forgiveness, yeah. somebody is going to pay. Yeah. Even if there's forgiveness, 100%. somebody has to pay the price. To pay the and price. The, yeah. and, and, and the price is nothing to do with forgiveness. Mm. The price is what you brought over yourself mm. that you have to pay. And even if it means to go to the ends of the earth or lose your life or whatever, mm. I don't know what what is in that. But yeah. Forgiveness, if you understand forgiveness, then you will understand that forgiveness has nothing to do with mm. wrongdoing. Forgiveness is you take the responsibility for your yes. wrongdoing. Yes. I, uh, I, 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 my narrative is that, uh, you know, with, like, to your point now with, uh, you know, the carrying the baby, um, the poor South Africans have been, you know, have been walking with that, uh, with that pain for over 27 years, all hopeful, um, irrespective. You know, talking about pain and, and, and forgiveness, um, there was a point in my life, uh, 10 years ago, I lost my, my daughter in Rustenburg. I, I moved to Rustenburg because I couldn't get a job, a credit manager job in, in, in Cape Town. This was in August, I lost my daughter, uh, Jody. And uh, now it's 10 years, uh, August, 10 years ago. This is the first year that I could celebrate her life. I always prayed for her, you know, even she crossed over. Um, I, 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 I believe that one day we'll understand these things better. You, you lost your daughter to, to cancer in, uh, in December 2019. Um, you know, they say parents shouldn't um, bury their children. Um, okay. how, do you, how do you cope? As I a father. am so sorry. I hmm. am so, so sorry for your loss. Nobody will understand. You might talk about it um, easier and you talk about it after 10 years and Nobody will understand. Nobody gets over that loss. And and you always think of, I wonder what she would have become and what she could be and how you know, proud I would have been 
doing it, man. So I'm very, very sorry for you. But no parent has, um, should go through a, an experience like that. But then again, when Joseph were in the pit, almost dead, and his father thought he was dead. Yes. The Bible says, what man meant for bad, I will, I will change it for good. So the good that we are talking about here is something that you might have experienced and or you you will still experience. Yeah. The good that I will experience or might experience. I don't know. I really don't know. But yeah. I don't want to know everything because if I do know everything, my responsibility becomes bigger and people will come with all their problems to me. But yeah. one thing that I do know, there was, there is, and there will always be the purpose why the sun comes up every day for me and you and why not for other people thank you thank you for that quite encouraging um you know when you 2019 also james small passed away chester williams i actually went to chester williams uh, funeral at newlands uh, uh, stadium yeah. and uh, he actually went through similar issues that you went through obviously also having to coach outside of south africa uh, do you think you know, uh, what what you bring to the table now, specifically in, in Paul Drakenstein, um, the impact that you can or create or highlight or address would, would change, you know, some of the people, especially in the sport fraternity. Obviously, you're going to have a lot of complaints. You said you don't want to hear about complaints, but, but there's going to be a lot of people knocking on your doors should you, you know, be successful in this role. That's the reason why we're there. That okay. is the reason why we're here. Just to be in here, yeah. just to be comfort, uh, to be a comfort for those who have lost hope. That is the reason we don't have problems for when when people come with with, with 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 their own challenges to you. We don't have those. That's not a problem for us. The only problem I do have is that is that people's needs has been has been has been brought down to as if non-existent. You can't make one law for everybody. Because if you understand in one house, two different, one father, one mother, two different children, they have different needs. Yeah. You have to listen. And you know what? Being a Springbok coach and master that um, a trait of, of listening to the players yeah. made me a coach that was very successful because the players thought and they, they found some comfort in the environment yeah that they were in. Yeah. And this is a, that's exactly what we are going to try and do. Mm. What I say is I don't care about other I don't care about other parties, political parties. What they did in the past, they did in the past. We won't dwell on other people's strengths or their weaknesses. What we're going to bring to is we're going to try and ask the people of, of, of Dragonstein, don't leave your political party. They were there for you forever. Stay with them. But lend me your vote for this next five years and if i don't change the course of your life and your children's lives take back yes. your vote all right you've been you've had a lot of controversies with uh, the media journalists uh, mostly uh, negative articles that they, they wrote about pvd uh, you know um um i i i think your comment to, to them, uh, and, I, and I quote here, you, you called the, the rugby writers uh, rats, uh, rotter. <laughs> that was uh, quite funny. Um, can you just speak on that? Can you explain? Yeah, you know, mm. you know I, want you, I want you to sit down and look, look mm. at the, the positive in the whole thing and not yeah. the negative. Yeah, the yeah. positive is, the positive is, did one of their bad comments or how they broke my snore down or my face yeah. down or because I'm a black man or whatever were in their heart, yeah. how they tried to broke that down mm. and if they got it right in me, yeah. they, could have, they would have smashed a whole community, but mm. I never allowed them to do it. But did one of those negative comments has an impact mm. on my rugby results? Uh, Did it make me uh, uh, lose more games? Did it mm. make me uh, win more games? So if it doesn't have anything, then it can't, it can't have an impact on where you're heading. Yeah. So what I'm trying to say to you by this, they have taught me how not to lose focus mm. of what I am doing and why I am there for. Yeah. So if any negative that come to me now, any bad language, mm. any smear tactics, Anything that come to me now, 
killing them so much <laughs> that they were yeah. there. And I regard them in the Bible as the lions and the bear that yeah. were there for David so yes. that he could go kill his mm. Goliath. That, that's a that's a very profound message, and I and I hope the youth, uh, you know, the youngsters that that's also going through a lot of challenging times in school, uh, universities, at at, at entry level workplaces, that they when they go through all these issues, um, you know, um, that that they would find strength in that. It's, it's not always easy to to, to ignore, um, but yeah, it's it's it, I, I don't I don't think it's it's a, it's an easy thing to to go through. Um, I mean, if you look at Leon Suster's movie where he pranked you and then there was the one uh, with uh, what's his name um, the radio DJ uh, he had with uh, the prank uh, wacky that with uh, uh, John Walland um, you know I, 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 I personally felt that um, that was also but humiliating um, and uh, um, you know to the point where it, it gave other people in the media space more power you know, to just carry on. Um, some even... Can I, can, I, can I answer you on that one? Can I answer you on that one? Yes. I was... I was I, I, I'm born colored person. Yes. Like they identify me in this, in this country. Yeah. We were not... We were moved from a decent house in town to a, something that nobody wants to go live in. Yeah. We have been thrown in flats that we became gangsters because that is the only hope that we have. We mm. have nothing. People regard us and you're colored, you're a drunkard. Yeah. There, there's only negativity that they want to spread to be a mm. color. The two or three examples that you just mentioned yeah. is white people, white people who wanted to be like a colored guy. All right. They used a color who inspired them so much yeah. that if I don't break him down, this color is going to be greater than me. Right. Let me rather be like him. And okay. that is why Robbie Vessels never wrote a song about anybody else because nobody inspired the man as much as what this colored boy has <laughs> did in their life. So when yeah. the white started to think, oh, I want to be like that color, yeah. you know you have changed lives and you have yeah. changed their way. Yeah. All right. Okay. Yeah, uh, uh, Drakenstein, uh, Paul, you've got Groenewel, you've got New Orleans. There's a lot of drugs and alcohol abuse, people being murdered, poverty, unemployment. What's your plans for the for the area? Yeah, and so we have America and Australia and, and drugs and poverty. And yes, all, all over. Is that something that you can't um, stop alone in the world? And if you think you can do it, you must ask God to come take you now immediately because you're going to waste your own time and other people's time. Okay. But the one thing that you can say to yourself is that, back to a question that you asked earlier in this conversation, you asked me, what makes a leader? And yeah. if you go into those areas, mm. who are the leaders in those areas? Now, those are the people that you can use to speak to those people and to work with among those people so that the next generation, not this mm. one, the yeah. next generation can actually have it better than what this generation has it. Yeah. So, in, 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 in a lot of ways, you, you have so much expertise and, and all of them are retired and you don't actually bring it over to the next generation. So we will make use of a few a few uh, tested and tried uh, stuff that made me me through my life um, as a boy then and now as, a, as, a, as an adult. Yeah. And we're going to turn, bro, bring those people in and ask those guys who's actually selling this stuff. Yeah. Guys, there's such a hell of a lot of people following you. We need you as leaders in this community to help us to change the ways of these people. And now... We all know that is the income of those people. But if you can direct that energy into the right direction, then the next generation mm. could be better off. And slowly but surely, you can stop those things. Mm. So South Africa lost twice in a row, this week and last week. Um, how do you think they're going to turn it around? Come again? South African rugby. They lost this weekend. They lost the previous weekend. How do you think they're going to turn it around? Well, you know, uh, we all expected it. We all expected it. I mean, if, you, if you're if you a rugby uh, fundi, if you understand the game and you didn't expect them to lose against Australia, then then then, then you're, you're only a scoreboard person okay. if you don't understand the structures mm -hmm. and, uh, uh, of the game, you know. If you look at what we offer in 
rugby and you look what Australia offer. Mm. Australia has the best, uh, the best contact line defense of all the countries in the world. Mm. So we knew that we won't get any momentum against them where the contact will take place. Mm. And if we don't get momentum, then we, our kicks won't work because you earn the right to kick and there will no be no right because all our kicks will, would be defensive. The guys who are going to be contest will run from deep mm. and they won't make it in the contest. We knew that. And because we don't win the contest, we're not in control, the holes will open up wider for the ball carriers if they can carry it hard and, 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 and cause some, and cause some uh, doubt in the minds of defense. Mm. And that is what we all knew. I mean, mm. if, if somebody didn't didn't coach with that in mind, he coached the team to go lose. And um, so uh, it's easier the way we play, the way we play. And it's easier to lose against Australia than against New Zealand. Yeah. Okay, so, so that, that's a good analysis from your side. Um, you the coach. Uh, if you if you take that same approach and you look at the political environment within South Africa, how do you call the the first of November, uh, LGE local government elections? What do you foresee happening? So easy, so easy. <laughs> you look at those people. If you look at those people, you can see how they all been clothed in their own colours. Which so people? So you do understand who we, are the. The opponents. Okay. You know the opponents. The reason why our politics is in a bad shape at this moment is that the, the, the opposition parties did not fight the opponents anymore. They did fight the enemies. And what is the enemies? The enemies is in their heads. I want to, to, to control. Mm. I want to lead. I'm going to say bad things about them. And mm. they focus on all. I, they, they never focus on who. They are what they can bring and what changes they can make. They focus on what other people didn't do. So the enemy was in them, took over uh, their home uh, um, um, uh, human making. Yeah. And they don't bring anything to the party that people can start believing in them. Mm. People are only, you know, if you highlight me like the, the media did, people take notice of me and not the media. So yeah. if we highlight them, we're going to give them airtime and not ourselves. 100%. 100%. 100%. You, you spoke about the, the snore earlier on, um, the famous mustache. Will you ever cut it off? I did. Okay. I did back. noise in my life. When my daughter died, yes, I know, and yeah. that one, when she cut her hair off, I also cut my, my yeah. hair off, and those things also win. Yeah. And the first time when I did it, when we won that uh, Junior World Cup, uh, when we beat uh, in, in Mendoza, yeah. when we won them there, uh, I promised the players, yeah, yeah. well, <laughs> if you're going to play your part, I'll play my part. Okay, so there's a third a third opportunity now. If Jalet pays you a million rand, to do an advert, you, you'll, go, you'll go for it? Or an advert? When, when is you going to give them an advert? The Jolette. Jolette um, uh, Blades. When do I going to get them an advert? We'll have to negotiate with them. Listen. No, you are going to negotiate. I don't want to cut it. They'll probably I listen. Cut you negotiate with it, with it, and I will take the million. <laughs> You're going to have you to pay royalties. Work, you must work to see <laughs> me without the brother. If, if, you, if, you, if you win Drakenstein, Will you will you cut your mustache off? If we win the Arkansas, it will be just another stepping stone in our life. It's yeah, then, it, then that will be the third third time you cut your mustache off. <laughs> no, it's not, the, it's not, it's not uh, a good enough uh, thing to cut the mustache. Um, <laughs> we expect to win. We expect to win, so I, can, I might as well cut it now. I, I hope you guys do get something there. Um, I am a bit worried, uh, you know, the spread of, of, of all the other parties. I think uh, I think uh, patriotic alliance, or so it appears on social media, they they, they looks like they they are quite confident. Um, uh, yeah. Uh, I yeah. don't know. I we don't know. Also, the, the, we were also we were also very confident going into the I know. Games against I look at all the posts. Um, uh, you know the CCC. I I know. I can see that the, the DA, the the the, the ANC, they quite worried, and they looking at probably uh, talking about coalitions. 
I'm not too convinced about the EFF. Are you concerned about the EFF? Listen to, to me. The sun hmm? will shine on everybody. Everyone. And I, I don't. I the, the one thing about us is that we know what we need to do to be hmm. successful. Yeah. So the, it doesn't take away the fact that there will be opponents. The yeah. opponents will try and stop you to be successful, but you mm. need, you know what you need to do. If you go do that well, success mm. is waiting at you. You, you, that, that was spoken like a true politician now. You, you, I, I see you getting into the, the, the swing of things. Um, just a, just a last uh, comment from my side before we wrap it up. Um, you know, there was a lot of, um, some people do the voiceover thing, the tone of your voice. Uh, I would like to try it, you know, uh, um, I've been asking Auntie Pat, Patricia De Lille, probably almost for the last four, just over four years, about the water, and uh, she hasn't answered me yet, and I know you're quite close to her, so maybe you can, you can ask her, and she'll probably watch this, I'll, I'll send it to her, uh, but can I, can, do you mind if I do, if I try the, the tone? Can I tell you something? Yes. God <laughs> has made you who you are. Yes. And if you can't be the best you that you can be, mm. don't try to be somebody else because yeah. then God would have made only of those people. Yeah. So the what you have, what you can produce, and mm. what you that is more important for people to follow. Yeah. If you want to be like me, then they will follow me and not you. So yeah. don't even try to be like me. I'm, I'm going gonna, gonna to try the tone at least. No, but you can do, you can do this as parties. <laughs> You can do it everywhere where people, yeah. where people laugh and find you funny yeah. and those things. But it's a serious business we busy with at this day. Yes. And, it, and, and, and if it's not serious for you, then don't call me ever again. No, I'm, I'm, I'm trying to be serious. Okay, brother. Okay. Thank you, man. All right, Peter de Valles. All right. Thank you for your time. Appreciate it. I just wanted to Thank ask. You, okay, it's fine. All right. Goodbye. <sighs> I messed this whole thing up now with Uncle Peter. All I wanted to ask was, I'll be back. I don't know what's really worth it, don't worry.